ready for a DIY bedroom makeover using a painted headboard effect. It's exactly what the space needs to just bring it to life. Much better. As you can see, this pop of color brings liveliness and warmth to the room and highlights all the bedroom furniture. So I'm gonna show you how to DIY this and turn a room like this into this. Absolutely beautiful and can be done in a weekend. It's so easy, but the effect is so worth it. Let's get started. So, before you do anything, is you need to measure the space. And what I'm doing here is just measuring the height and the width of my painted headboard. I wanna make sure that it highlights the bed as well as the furniture. Once I have all my measurement points on the wall, I'm going to draw straight lines connecting them using a level. This is very important because you want those lines straight. For this project, I'm working with Hamilton's as well as the Paint Expert stores where I get my Plascon paint from. I'm also using this premium interior tray set that comes with everything you need for this job. That's masking tape, a utility brush, a polypile roller, a drop sheet, and of course the paint tray. How nifty is that? And I'm using the Easy Living range exclusive to the Paint Expert stores in the color Orange You Glad. Next, you gotta tape up the edges with masking tape. So I'm just taping the edges and the sides and anything that I don't want to get paint on. Right, that prep is done and now I can get to painting the borders. I always paint the edges and borders first. That is how you make sure you're following a great process when painting anything. So here I am just doing the borders. And here's a tip, as you can see, I'm working in one direction from the edge of the masking tape, almost painting over it to make sure that it's sealed so I can get the straightest lines possible. Now with the border done and everything painted, then you move over to the interior part using your roller. I've just used the plastic wrap and wrapped it around my tray. This helps for easy wash up later and pouring the beautiful sheen paint from the Easy Living walls and ceilings range. And again, this color is just so warming and beautiful. Here I am just loading my paint roller, making sure it's saturated, and I did wipe it with a damp cloth beforehand to get rid of any lint and fluff. I'm just carefully applying the paint to the wall, not to move too quick. If you move too quick with a roller, it tends to splatter and I don't want anything splattering beyond the masking tape. So it's best to go slow and steady. That is the first coat done. Great coverage for a first coat. Excellent quality paint. And now I can apply my second coat once that was dry to the touch. With the second coat done, that is your painted headboard. How easy was that? I can peel back the masking tape, revealing those crisp lines, so painting on the edges definitely worked. And now it's time for a quick cleanup, removing that plastic and rinsing everything. As with every makeover, I do add other DIYs into the space, so I decided to custom make some furniture, like these bedside tables, and right at the edge in the top of the painted headboard, add a long ledge shelf, which is great for all the ornaments and pictures that I'm going to add to the space. Here I am decorating it, adding the final decor elements, some greenery, some bedding, and it just all goes together so beautifully. This project is so easy, so I hope you feel inspired to decorate your space. Follow us for more ideas like this one.